Chapter 9, Learning Objective 5 Explain, Calculate, and Record Long-Term Loans A loan is another form of long-term debt that a corporation can use to finance its operations. Like bonds, loans can be secured, giving the lender the right to specified assets of the corporation if the debt cannot be repaid. However, unlike bonds, loans are typically obtained from one lender such as a bank, are repaid in equal blended payments over a period of time, and do not give rise to a premium or discount because they are obtained at the market rate of interest in effect at the time. For example, let's assume BDCC obtained a three-year, $100,000, 10% loan on January 1, 2023, from First Bank to acquire a piece of equipment. When the loan proceeds are deposited into BDCC's bank account, the following entry is recorded with a debit to cash and credit to long-term note payable account, both for $100,000. The loan is repayable in three annual blended payments. To calculate the payments, PV analysis is used, whereby the following keystrokes are entered into a business calculator. PV equals 100,000. This is the cash received from the bank. I equals 10. This is the interest rate. N equals 3. The term of the loan is 3 years. Then compute PMT. The PMT, or payment, is minus 40,211.48. The result is negative because payments are cash outflows. While the payments remain the same each year, the amount of interest paid decreases and the amount of principal increases. Here is a loan amortization table for the loan payable for each of the years 2023 through to 2025. There are five columns that include the beginning balance of the loan for each year. The interest expense, calculated by multiplying the interest rate, in this case 10% times the beginning loan balance of $100,000 for 2023 for total interest of $10,000. The next column shows the reduction of the loan principal that is the difference between the blended payment of $40,211, less the calculated interest of $10,000, resulting in $30,211. The last column is the ending loan balance after the principal reduction is factored into the loan balance. So for 2023, the loan balance is $69,789. This carries forward to the next year, 2024, with a beginning loan balance equal to the ending loan balance at the end of 2023, of $69,789 which we multiply by the 10% interest to determine the interest expense to be $6,979, and then subtract from the payment of $40,211 to determine the principal reduction of $33,232, resulting in an ending balance of the loan at the end of 2024 of $36,557. For the next and final year, 2025, we repeat the process. The beginning loan balance is the 2024 ending loan balance of $36,557, which we multiply by the 10% interest rate, to determine interest expense of $3,654, which, when subtracted from the payment, results in a principal reduction of $36,557. Notice that this is the same amount as the loan balance at the beginning of the year, resulting in an ending loan balance of zero. This shouldn't be a surprise because the loan is now paid. You should pause the video here to ensure you can follow through all the calculations. The amortization table can be used to construct the journal entries to record the loan payments at the end of each year with debits to interest expense, debits to the loan payable, and credits to cash. Notice the credit to cash is the same each year at $40,211. The payment never changes. The interest expense changes each year and decreases as the balance of the loan decreases. The debit to the loan payable actually increases each year. This is what happens with a term loan like a car loan or mortgage. The interest portion of the blended payment gets smaller and smaller, and the principal reduction gets larger and larger with each payment. Recall that assets and liabilities need to be classified as current and non-current portions on the balance sheet. That part of the loan payable to First Bank to be paid in the upcoming year needs to be classified as a current liability on the balance sheet. The amount of the total loan outstanding at December 31, 2023, 2024, and 2025, and the current and non-current portions, are shown below. 
At the end of 2023, the total remaining loan balance is $69,788, and that must be separated into the current portion of $33,232, which is the 2024 principal reduction, and the longer-term portion of $36,557. The principal reduction for 2025. At the end of 2024, the loan balance is $36,557, and all of that comes due in 2025, so the entire amount is classified as a current liability. The balance sheet presentation would be as follows at the end of 2023, 2024, and 2025. The current portions would be $32,232 and $36,557 for 2023 and 2024, respectively, and only 2023 has a longer-term portion of $36,557. At the end of 2025, the loan is paid out, so there are no amounts reported. Details of the loan would be disclosed in a note to the financial statements. Only the principal amount of the loan is reported on the balance sheet. The interest expense portion is reported on the income statement as an expense. 